Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, the NFL writer at the Boston Globe, here joined by former Patriots tight end Jermaine Wiggins, and we are going inside the Patriots playbook with a look at an offensive play from Sunday's victory over the Buffalo Bills. Wiggs, what we've seen the past month, really, is the emergence of Aaron Hernandez mm -hmm. as a very viable option in this offense. Before, he was he was a little bit of, you know, third, fourth option, but mm -hmm. now he's... He kind of yeah. dictates what they what they do, and we saw this on the 44-yard catch that he had down to the one-yard line. We kind of see the conundrum that Gronkowski and also Welker put on the defense, and why don't, why don't you take us through this play and show us w what things went right for the Patriots. Well, well, first off, Hernandez at the beginning of the year was one of Brady's go-to guys, and then he got hurt. So, you know, but now he's starting to get healthy, and what they're able to do with Hernandez is line him up in a, in a variety of positions. Here he is lined up right here. They have with a, a th three tight end look. It's almost a, a triple wing. This is the fullback, and what they do is they run Gronkowski on like a basic, a basic route where he gets up to about 12 or 13 yards, and then he runs across, and what they do with Hernandez, they run him on an under route, so he'll come up and he'll come, on the, come underneath. So they want to play a high low on the linebackers, and what they did with, with Ben Jarvis is they ran him on a wide route so that took this linebacker out of the picture they ran a wide receiver on a goal route so now the DB turns and runs with him and the safety has to worry about that so now what you do is you put this linebacker right here in a strain they put they put Gronkowski behind him so he he has to make a decision do I turn and run with Gronkowski or do I stay with Hernandez underneath and what he did he kind of got caught in no man's land so as as Gronkowski's coming over you'll see Hernandez will come underneath him and this linebacker turns to go get Gronkowski and you'll see Brady hits Hernandez right in this hole and by the time he gets back Hernandez has already got the football in his hand and we all know what he can do once he gets that football in his hand and he's able to run after the catch and you know Gronkowski it's downfield you get some blocks and Hernandez makes a big play but what they do here is they put a high low on the linebacker right here with two of their best weapons on offense, Hernandez and Gronkowski, and this safety's kind of playing a deep area there, so that's where the strain, strain becomes, but because you have a guy like Hernandez and you have a guy like Gronkowski, it's almost pick your poison. Yeah. Uh, Wiggs, let me ask you this, because we, we'll see this set and we've seen it, you know, even take the fullback mm -hmm. out, they have Nate Soldier as a third tight end, yep. they, they've been running this. Now, we all know that the Patriots have had trouble, and we're going to see this in the postseason, with teams that play more man-to-man. -man. Mm -hmm. Can you play man-to-man -man out of this kind of alignment if the Patriots come out like this? Well, see, what this alignment does is it, you can run the ball to this. So now you can get the numbers that you want because you have three tight ends or two tight ends and a fullback over here. You have the number matchup that you want, and you can run the football here. So now they have to defensively, they have to compensate and overload this. And now that's what's going to happen. You're going to see guys who play man. Maybe they have this DB because of the fact they know Hernandez is, is a valuable weapon. He plays man there. A linebacker, or maybe they double Gronkowski with the linebacker here, but then that still leaves a viable option there, but they really don't use that. So what you want to do is slam Gronkowski at the line and then have to be able to slow him off, pass him off to the second level if you're going to play man coverage, but still you're going to find matchup problems because Hernandez on a DB, yeah, the DB might be able to run with him, but Hernandez is a bigger target. So there's going to be matchup problems that this formation and these tight ends create, and I think that's the biggest thing you see the Patriots do when they move them and put them all over the place. Yeah, interesting. I think this is, this is a formation to watch as we get into the postseason, and um, we've already seen the Patriots do a variety of things out of it, and um, it's been a success. We'll yeah. see if it continues. So. All right, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we'll, use, we'll see you tomorrow when we look at special teams uh, from the Bills game. So I'm Greg Bedard from the Boston Globe, Jermaine Wiggins, former Patriots tight end. Thanks for watching Inside the Playbook.